Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Last time we explored uncharted worlds. And this time we found an anomaly and we're here to investigate it. It's been a while since we've went on any of the Uncharted Worlds missions. And this time it's also going to be a bit different than your regular missions that I showed before. Because back then what I tried to do is to get as many missions done as possible and they had to be as uh, short as possible and as easy as possible. This time around I'm doing it the opposite way. That is, this mission is not easy. And there's also something else that's quite interesting about it, but you'll find out soon enough. Actually, wait a minute. Just as a point of reference, first the journal. And seven wrecked merchant freighter scans indicate the presence of a wrecked merchant freighter on planet Nath. Movement was detected on the planet's surface, but no signs of some organic life. Investigate shipwreck land on, pla on planet Nath and investigate the wreckage of the merchant freighter. So there were merchants there. Now there's something moving, even though it is crashed and no life signs. Let's see what that's all about. And also, I looked at how Garrus looks like in the, uh, what's it called, the crew deck. And actually, I think the reason why he doesn't really quite look like this is not so much that the colors are incorrect on the texture, and it's more to do with that the lighting on this screen is way too orange. If you look at it, this is blue and this is white, so this is really quite correct. The problem that I have, and that a lot of other people have as well, is that if you look and compare the stock armor that Garrus had before with the new outfit, you can see that they're still the same burn marks as there were before. Which implies that this is not actually new armor at all, it's just the same armor that he painted a bit, which makes absolutely no sense. So that's why the third armor now is available as part of a DLC that you need to pay for. Uh, but yeah, so this one makes a lot more sense and I will keep that enabled. However, on this mission, I definitely want to get Legion, but also since we know that there's going to be synthetics here, Zed is an obvious choice. He has six squad points. Which is not enough to get more concussive shots. So it's going to be 3-2 or 2-3. So it comes down to, do I want more Inferno Grenade or more Concussive Shot, and Inferno Grenade is more interesting. Launches a volatile grenade that explodes on impact, sending fragments flying in all directions that cause extra damage. This fire damage is effective against armor. That's great, because we might have to deal with armor. And Legion is fine. Yes, I'll keep the Arc Projector. Locust Viper and Carnifex. Um, with Zaid, a pulse rifle is not useful anymore. Because we have shield penetration as it is. So you two get an indicator. I guess you can take the Viper. Thank you, VI. Reinforcing shields. 
Um, yeah, I think we should switch up. Switch to sniper rifles for now. And there's a fine platinum right there. Something that we do need, so that's nice. Objective is that way. Oh yeah, that's the merchant freighter, and that's what we are up to analyze. However, let's not uh, miss something around here. Because you can very easily hide things around here. It's nice that we have the ability to see from quite far away if there is anything, but if it is hidden behind a rock like that, then that's not going to be the case. That's a lot of branching paths with not a whole lot going on in them. At least right now. That goes to the volcano. Damaged mech parts. Okay. There are just high walls, but there's no enemies that we can see. System status report. Authorization, Captain Kratt. Engineering. Engineering status compromised. Catastrophic damage to primary and secondary cores. Element zero exposure levels critical. Few leaks throughout the engineering deck. That kind of sounds like... Uh, the ship in Unreal. Navigation. Navigation status critical. Manual control of navigation possible. VI control locked out by executive command. Authorization. Kratz 43279. Hmm. Sensors. Sensor status compromised. Short range sensors offline. Unsafe planetary proximity detected at 0700 hours. Life support compromised. Life support returning to safe levels. VI control locked out by executive command authorization. Grat 43279. Shields. Shield status normal. Shields holding at 100% integrity. No shield breaches detected. Well, at least something is going right. VI network. Compromised. Combating potential contagion. VI control of critical systems locked out by executive command. Authorization. Grat 43279. Communication status compromised. Damage to communications array critical. Activating distress beacon. Yep. So it sounds like several of the ships in Unreal. What is this, Nepali? And more damaged mech parts. So far, this seems lucrative. And there's no passageway through here, right? There's a bomb. <laughs> but nothing else here, okay. The status report. There's an SOS capsule. Fine platinum. Aha! So now we have enough. So we don't really need to mine anymore. And we have the navigator's log. Captain, short range sensors just went offline and I'm locked out of helm control. The VI is reporting malfunctions all over. Short-range sensors just went offline, and I'm locked out of helm control. The VI is reporting malfunctions all over the ship. Well, the captain seems to have disabled the VI for some reason. Fearing a contagion, looks like. Also, nice floating rocks. 
All right. There's a nut kit. And there's an evacuation order. But let's first check out what's over here. Aha! Uh -huh, more platinum. More floating rocks. This planet sure is something. Very low gravity, seemingly. escape pod, but that didn't get very far. That's another escape pod. And we also cannot get to it. More damaged mech parts, more platinum. Power cells. Report. Okay, well, let's first read the shipping manifest, I suppose. MSV Corsica, shipping manifest. Reflective mech armor, X6378. 14 crates of reflecting mech armor, X6378. Source Jerry Station. Destination ERCS facility. Alanis Risk Control Services, eh? It's been a while since we've heard anything about them. Lockimax. 180 Lockimax. Source Han Kadar Experimental Mechanics Division. Destination ERCS facility. Also, it's been a while since we've heard about Han Kadar. Weimer Mech. One Weimer Mech. Source Han Kadar Experimental Mechanics Division. Destination ERCS facility. Welp. So they're shipping a lot of mechs. And there's the ship itself. Standard ship class, I guess. Trenton, we've got a problem in the cargo bay. Marcus says the mechs in the containers are activating and self-destructing. Go check it out. Activated and self-destructing, you say? Well, there's a signal transmitter that I can deactivate. Nothing we can do here, looks like, so let's just... Go back. Multiple hostiles powering up at your location. Recommend immediate extraction. Thanks, Shuttle VI! Yep, there are Max. And there's more Max. And there's more Max. And there are sandstorms here. That are lowering our ability to see what's going on. And there are a lot 
of Max. Thankfully, we have a nice number of sniper rifles here. So we can hold off here for a while. Okay. I think Sandstorm activity has reduced visibility to 65%. Proceed to shuttle for evacuation. Mm, that's still fine. For this. Let's get closer to that medkit. Making sure that there are no extra mechs out there. We've been spotted. Aha! Uh -huh. from both sides. So when they said that they're shipping 180 max, they weren't kidding. There are 180 max. In this mission, we don't need to fight them, we can just run past them. But hey, what's the fun in that? Still more of them. And I'm running low on heat sinks now. Looks like... oh, no, there's some more. Just to go that way, but I think we're good going this way. Sandstorm activity has reduced visibility to 40%. Proceed to shuttle for evacuation. Oh, more of them here. Why, hello there, big guy. 
It's a nice thing that we all got these disruptor ammo upgrades. This, however, is annoying. Uh, can you hack it? Thank you. Stopped its self destruction. Looks like that was all the mess. Nope. Hmm. Let's see, how does this work? Oh. So it's kind of. Uh, Cluster bomb. You guys are terrible at it. Come on. That helps. There we go. What? Where did you come from? Yeah, that helps. out with the craze or something. that I can see. I'm eating up all the heat sinks. Sandstorm activity has reduced visibility. 
And yep, there's still more. sure was making a nice dance. Imagine without disruptor ammo, this would be really tough, and that's not really what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to just go inside the shuttle and run and get away. But regardless, this is more fun. somewhere. Guys are just staying there. But that might be it. No. Nope. You know what? How about you guys go here? Acknowledge there. Alert. Need not here. Channel for evacuation. There we go. Legion, though. Yes. We're still not in cover. Nice. Affirmative. There. Now you are. Under fire. Armor. Can I do something to armor? Make more armor. That vex is floating too, so indeed, this must be very low gravity. 
Hold on, ten, ten, ten. That is not making this easy. survivors in MS3 Corsica wreckage. Deactivated the stress beacon. However, we did get the shipping manifest and that said that all of these mechs were supposed to be shipped to somewhere. So we can continue investigating this. So this is an uh, assignment that is part of a chain of assignments. And we'll see the follow-up Next time, we gained experience that is completely meaningless, earned a bit of credits, got some platinum. And now we have enough platinum to get our last research in. Mara has asked to speak with you when you have a moment, Shepard. So that's what we're going to do next time. That's not what I want to press. Medbay upgrade. Dermal regeneration. Upgrades the Normandy's medical facilities with an advanced dermal regeneration unit. Using this unit will immediately and completely heal your scars. Further scarring will not occur regardless of the actions you take. And since we can, I can also do the advanced mineral scanner, I guess. Argus scanner array. Normandy mineral scanner upgrade. The Android group's proprietary Argus planet scan technology has been integrated into the ship systems. This will greatly speed up the planet scanning process. It sure will, by not having any planets to scan anymore. So now we got all of the research done, we don't need to worry about anything anymore. And yeah, so these E ones are in fact the fuel cells, not the sensors. So it is indeed a bug. There's the cannon, probe, sensors, yeah. And we'll uh, check out the dermal regenerator next time. Mara has asked to speak with you when you have a moment, Shepard. Do we have primary codex entries? No. 
So I'll leave the secondary codex entries for next time too. So see you all then. Later.